Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be reviewing the Pax Beauty Blender. So if in case you do not know what a beauty blender is, then a beauty blender is basically a makeup sponge that is used for applying makeup onto the face, be it a liquid, a cream or a powder product. You can use a beauty sponge to apply the product onto your face for that airbrushed look. So today I have this uh, Pax Beauty Blender with me which comes in this uh, packaging. I think the package, packaging is really, really nice. It's very, very sturdy. I think it's the best quality card cardboard bag. Bo <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it's the best quality cardboard box. And what I really like about it is that it is reusable. So after each use, you can wash your uh, sponge, you can let it dry and then put it back into the case. Uh, that would make sure that it doesn't attract dust or dirt and stays new for a longer period of time so a big thumbs up for the packaging guys uh, now beauty blender now Pax beauty blender is made to be a dupe uh, of the original beauty blender now the original beauty blender retails for uh, 2000 rupees which is so much of money and I can't just convince myself to spend a bomb on a makeup sponge I mean let's face it guys a makeup sponge has to be replaced every few months. I mean, if someone uses it rigorously, you have to replace it every few months. And 2000 rupees every few months, it's a lot of money. So when you have so many other dupes available in the market, well, I cannot go and spend my money on the original beauty blender. I won't. I don't think I ever see myself doing that. So um, instead of the original beauty blender, I've been using the Real Techniques beauty blender for a long period of time. and this is such a great product and in fact a lot of makeup uh, gurus across the world swear by the real techniques one and a lot of them prefer real techniques one over the original beauty blender that is just because this one does the job of applying makeup onto your face equally well and it's just so inexpensive so today i will be reviewing the pax beauty blender and i'll be comparing it with the real techniques one so uh, firstly, I showed you the packaging of the Pax Beauty Blender, which is this cardboard box. So, so definitely Pax Beauty Blender wins over the Real Techniques plastic casing, which you can't really reuse. So a big thumbs up for that, guys. Let's, let's come on to the shape and the size. Now, the Pax Beauty Blender is exactly the same shape and the same color as the original Beauty Blender. Of course, Real Techniques has its own color and its own shape, which has its own advantages um so yeah they're almost the same in size uh this one is really damp this one is not so damp right now so it might seem smaller but they are almost uh the same size and the biggest difference that i can feel between the two is that the pax beauty blender seems a lot more dense the core seems a lot more dense to me as compared to the real techniques one uh hence this one feels a lot more lighter a lot more fluffy a lot more squishy as compared to the pax beauty blender now that for me is i would say a little disadvantage uh, because since the core is denser this one ends up using a little more product than uh, the real techniques one and also since it's more dense i have to apply a little more pressure to apply the product onto my face as compared to the real techniques one uh, now that being said um I don't really see any difference when it comes to the final outcome. One more thing that I've noticed with the Pax Beauty Blender is that it is easier to wash as compared to the Real Techniques one. Uh, my Real Techniques makeup sponge gets stained really easily and if I have to say, you know, if I've applied products, if I apply makeup on my face and after an hour or so I go and wash them, the stain on the Pax Beauty Blender gets washed away very easily as compared to the real techniques one i don't know how is that possible why is that so but i have definitely noted a difference there and uh it's, it's a big thumbs up of course it's, it's really great so uh, i would say if you're looking to buy out a beauty blender or a makeup sponge uh which is easily available in india which does the job of applying makeup equally well uh, as compared to the original beauty blender or even real techniques one i would say go ahead and buy this by the way this retails for 485 rupees and you can buy it from uh, the pax store on amazon or you can even go and buy this directly from their official website which i would link in the description box below but what if both are available at the same rate 
you can buy whatever you want to right so either of these is really good but if uh, you have a better deal on this one buy this one if you have a better deal on this one then buy the real techniques one so i would just use uh, this pax beauty blender to apply uh, this pons bb cream on my face and then we'll see how it works i mean i've seen how it works now you will see see uh, working with a sponge a sponge actually makes it a lot more easier to uh, work the products onto your skin and it makes sure that there are no streaks whatsoever i mean if you're working with a brush especially if you're a beginner at using makeup tools i would say start off with a makeup sponge because it's so much more easy to work with a sponge as compared to a brush there would not be any cases of you know streaking or any such thing and it doesn't matter if you're using it for the first time it would be so so easy and the finish would also be a lot more flawless yes uh, you do end up using a little more product as compared to what you would use with a brush but then again you know the finish is what matters the most if the end result is amazing i think a little bit more product doesn't really hurt uh, also make sure that you are pressing the sponge into your skin and not you know dragging it on the face press the product into the skin press this uh, sponge into your skin so it would press the product into your pores and it would fill them up and give them give your face a flawless you know airbrushed sort of a look so there you go you know of course as compared to brushes uh, the makeup sponges sheer out the coverage of your products that, but that is just because they eat up they drink up a lot of uh, product but then you can of course go back and you know instead of doing one layer you can do two layers but that also makes sure that the uh, face doesn't look cakey you know sometimes when i am using a brush i'll be very honest i can end up looking cakey but when you are using a makeup sponge it becomes a lot lot more easier also a makeup sponge sort of gives you a dewy finish that is because uh, the product has a little bit so yeah that's pretty much what i have to say about today's review and yeah let me know if you guys have any queries regarding the product or if there is any other product that you want me to review let me know in the comment section down below and i will see you guys soon until then you guys take care bye